Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading for a mystery message from my angel deck. I have found myself feeling so drawn to this deck lately just for myself. Been a little busy lately with personal readings and all that stuff, but I still like to pull myself one message a day. So if I need something quick and to the point, I always like to turn to this deck. So um, yeah, I love how it's just, <laughs> look at this, now air. Oh, I think it's reminding me to take deep breaths. How about we all do that as we get ready to enter into this reading session to get a healing message. We're gonna take some deep breaths. We're gonna get some words here of affirmation words that will help guide us on our journey wherever you're at right now in your journey i'm intending that this message will help to provide some guidance and to lift you up so all you have to do to receive this message is just choose one of these crystals here or choose a stack of cards so we've got number one the rose quartz Number two, the malachite. Or number three, the raw quartz crystal. Once you have chosen, you can head down below to the description or the comments where the timestamps are posted. And if you choose number one, we're gonna get started right away. So for those of you guys who choose number one, let's go ahead and get your message. Let's see what is coming up for you in the cards today. Okay, so the first card here is adversity, all right? No doubt this could be something you're experiencing right now. It's the first card that's coming up. It's talking about kind of a hard time where things are not going as you expected. Now, this is a timeless message, but at the time that I'm doing this reading, a lot of us are experiencing a lockdown uh, due to the pandemic. So you could think everything could just be up in the air. A lot of people don't really know like what's going on with their jobs. Some people have been laid off work. Some people are struggling financially. Some people have lost friends, loved ones. It's a difficult time. I definitely sense that the message I'm starting to tap into here has to do with like your plans, your dreams, your goals. And so you had a plan and maybe you had some intentions or manifestations for this year, 2020 specifically, or for this season in the spring, in the summer. And all of a sudden your timeline has been thrown off and you're feeling stuck, feeling trapped. And so this is saying to embrace weirdness. I feel like for a while, maybe you fought this energy and it was really difficult. It was hard to get used to. But now that you've released a lot of the tears, you've released some of the pain and the anguish and the frustration related to the situation, you've been able to accept it. And by accept it, I don't mean that you've been able to be like, oh, this is great. This is okay. It's just you're realizing, okay, I can't change this. Like I, there's nothing I can really do. I'm going to have to just flow with this situation. So you're getting that clarity literally right now. You're getting that clarity of realizing maybe I will never be the same after this. Maybe the world will never be the same. Like I don't have to go back to the old life that I had before this went down. I don't have to go back to the old routine. I don't have to go back to the old cycle. So you're realizing that you have this incredible opportunity to be able to reset, reshape, replan, refocus, and re-strategize your life. And so now you're looking a little bit more at your dreams. You're thinking, is the path I was on really getting me to my dreams? Maybe you didn't even have a chance to slow down to think about your dreams. I remember a time in the past, I was going for five, six, seven years 
And I, I was just trying to keep a roof over my head and food on my table. I didn't really have time for dreams, or so I thought. And so I just didn't feel like I had the luxury to dream because my life was felt very difficult and hard back then. So maybe that's you. Maybe you're just, you just don't feel like you're, didn't feel like you had the luxury to dream, but now you have all this time and space and you're, and you're realizing it could even be in a painful way, unfortunately, like what it is that you do want. Sometimes in order to realize what it is that you do want, you experience what you don't want. Uh, it's trial and error sometimes in life. It took me a while to realize, wow, I really do not thrive in the education system. <laughs> College isn't for me. It took me some time to realize, wow, I really don't like the whole show up to work in a specific place every day, nine to five, uh, having an office computer thing. I, you know, it took me time to realize that's not for me. Maybe you're having your own realizations about your work or the, your mission or the time you're spending or your schedule. Maybe you're realizing, wow, I bit off more than I could chew. When I go back to my life, I, I want to make more time for me. I want to make more time for rest. I want to make more time to dream. So it could just be so many different things where you're realizing this isn't for me anymore, but now I know what I do want. So you're getting clarity right now on your dreams. It could be happening in a very roundabout way, but it's awesome because you have this opportunity to restore balance to your life and balance is naturally being restored. You've had time to rest longer than you've had in a very long time. So now your energy is being collected and you're starting to feel the inkling of inspiration. Inspiration is coming to you. You're starting to have vivid dreams, vivid, vivid downloads from the universe, vivid, uh, just things are becoming more clear. Clarity, inspiration, you're getting that inspiration now. So the next step for you is branding. Um, and branding is, is like, Figuring out like who you are, what your truth is, what your talents and gifts are, what you have to offer this world. This could be through developing some type of community uh, online or even in person, uh, once it's safe to do so, where you can share your goals and connect with others. And maybe it's literally creating a brand or creating a, uh, a job for yourself or starting a business or brushing up your resume to enter into the career you'd like. Maybe this is through developing new new skills or getting new tools, materials, and supplies together to figure out what it is you want to do. You know, during personal readings, I've been hearing a lot of declarations from many of you guys that are, you guys are saying like, okay, I know what I want now. Like, I just need like a little advice on what my next step is or like what the cards are saying about this idea I have. Like, it's cool because I'm noticing this collectively on a collective level. And even with myself, a lot of us are just ready to go back to the drawing board and kind of tweak our plans and move in a slightly different direction. So maybe that's you. Sometimes you just gotta laugh at the craziness of this world and the craziness of this life. This whole thing is reminding us that it's all about duality. We do have the control to create and shape and mold our lives, but there's always gonna be contrast. There's always gonna be random stuff sometimes that hits us out of nowhere. This is a world of contrast, once again, up and down, hot and cold, dark and light, good and evil. So there's going to be sometimes this, this, this losses or deaths or suffering, pain. Um, and we sometimes, the adversity, we have to face that. We have to let ourselves be human and go through these intense times. And there's really no right or wrong way to go through it. It's just we go through it. But it doesn't mean that the sun won't shine again. It doesn't mean that your life is completely just over. There's still something to grow to. There's still something to inspire, aspire to. There's still something to dream for when you are ready for that. Some of you guys might not want to force yourselves to do anything right now. I don't want you to see this message as like a, you need to be productive kind of thing. Because for some people that's intimidating. Some people are really hurt and lost and sad and suffering right now. So if that's you, you fall in that category, just know you're doing a great job just being you. And I'm proud of you for still showing up every day here on this earth, despite the craziness. Uh, that's all you need to do is just be here, be the witness, show up. That's it. Uh, but one day 
some point you'll be ready to move forward with this clarity to start building again to get out there and receive the inspiration and start inspiring so i hope that this message resonates with you thank you again for your support and for coming to my channel and i'll see you next time peace out so for those of you guys who choose number two let's go ahead and get your message from the angel deck You got a lot of cards <laughs> got to lay them all out for you so you're probably already peeking ahead looking at these words maybe you've got some ideas already about what this means for you and that's awesome definitely use your intuition and and uh, maybe write down any notes if there's any messages that are coming for you specifically but here's what I'm seeing overall um, the first message that's coming out is celestial guardian and signals so your angels, your guides, your higher self, your ancestors, whatever, maybe departed loved ones on the other side are sending you a lot of signs right now. And I can concur because I have been getting some interesting signs myself lately, like all of a sudden. So maybe there's a shift in the energy. I think this is something a lot of us are going through right now. We're like realizing, wow, there's some signs coming through. I think a lot of these signs are pointing to how in order for us to gain freedom or to pursue freedom, we have to take responsibility, okay? This is an energy of realizing like that you and you alone are responsible for your life. This was something that was really hard for me to understand and to come to terms with as I went through my spiritual awakening because I think it's a delicate balance. Yes, we do attract and manifest and create a lot of things that happen in our lives. And that can be one of the hardest things to be like, dang, I chose this path and it's toxic. I chose this situation and it sucks. Um, you know, there's other things that we, uh, that we don't choose that do kind of happen to us out of the natural contrast of this world. Um, and some things we choose that serve to constrict us and serve to hold us back and serve to pull us down, but we're not aware of it at the time. And eventually we become aware and we're like, whoa, this habit or this person or this place or this situation, it's toxic. And if I, now that I'm aware, if I keep choosing this, if I don't do anything about it, if I don't take action on it, then I'm not taking responsibility for myself and for my life. So it's kind of a situation where some of you guys are starting to wake up to the fact that you have a different choice. You have another choice. If you want to make another choice, you can. And it's going to be hard. And there might not be any roadmap for you. And it might seem impossible. But you can make a different choice. And so your angels and your guides are sending you signals of hope. Signals of love. Signals of like, we're here for you. Like, we're going to bend and fold space and time to like help bring opportunities to you. But you have to be the one to take the responsibility and to start the momentum moving forward and to help create this. So sometimes we pray for a miracle, we pray for an opportunity to just fall out of the sky and hit us in the face, but we forget that we are the opportunity, we are the miracle. And I remember in the past feeling really trapped in a specific situation. I'm trying not to give too many deep personal details about my life right now. I've been, I've been oversharing a lot on the channel lately, but I just, I had some situations in the past, specific situations on my mind right now, and I just felt trapped in it. I just felt like there's no way I can get out of this, and like I kept in my head making up all these things and all these excuses, and I realized one day I woke up and was like, you know what? I can use my time to sit here and continue to convince myself this is impossible, or I can just use my time to try. And just going from that that phase of this is impossible to like, well, F it. Might as well die trying. That was a huge shift for me. It didn't mean that overnight I believed I could do it or that, oh, yay, everything's great. It was just a slight perception shift. It's like, well, F it. Might as well die trying. 
and just throw my little ring into the hat here and see what happens. And that changed everything for me. That changed my whole life. That changed my whole world. That freed me. So when you're looking at creating, creating freedom or embracing freedom in your life, because freedom is present around you if you have the eyes to see it and, and or the ability to pursue it. When you're looking at creating this energy, pursuing this in your life, you have to think more about that shift from it's impossible, I'm a victim and I'm stuck to mm, might as well die trying. No one else is gonna save me from this. No one else is gonna is gonna be this magical answer. There's no magical situation, it's just me. And I think that's a really realistic way to look here. Um, sometimes we feel like we're like God or the universe is against us and is holding us back and is trapping us. And if we can just be good enough or if we can just pray hard enough that we're gonna be freed and we're gonna be delivered. And I believe in miracles, but I also believe in taking responsibility. We've gotta be the change that we wanna see. We've gotta be the ones that take action and get our butts up and make it happen. And there are a million reasons why we can't, you know? In my past, for me, my excuses were, I'm depressed, I have anxiety, I have ADHD, I have learning disabilities. I've been through this horrible thing in my life. I'm, I'm stuck, I'm, I'm poor, I'm whatever. Like those were the old tapes. Those were the old things I told myself. But for, for me, taking responsibility was being like, okay, all of that might be true, but what can I do anyways? Maybe I can't do this and I can't do this and I can't do this, but what can I do? Can I create a different path? Can I create a different solution despite this? Maybe I don't need to change my depression, my anxiety, my ADHD, my learning disabilities, my weirdness. Maybe I don't need to change that. Maybe I can find something or a path or a solution that flows in alignment with that. Sometimes we think the answer is changing ourselves. Uh, and many times it's really just changing our perception and embracing who we are with radical love and self-acceptance. So yeah, this is telling you love is always the answer. Whenever in, you're in doubt, whenever you're confused, love is always the answer. I think the motivation for you right now is saying, look, you, the motivation for you to just move forward in your pursuit of freedom has something to do with you connecting with your twin flame or with a life partner. So for those of you guys who are single or who are wanting to connect with your twin flame or your life partner, oftentimes when you pursue your freedom and you take responsibility in your life and you, you start putting that radical love and self-acceptance your way, um, it motivates you and your energy channels clear and you get more into energetic alignment and then in turn you start attracting the people, places, situations that are meant for you, including a potential life partner. So there's changes coming in. This is telling you, look, as you're changing and your perception is changing and you're shifting, you're anchoring in a twin flame. And this is a spiritual awakening you're going through. You're in the process of discovering your truth and letting go of like old programming and the old tapes and the old lies you used to tell yourself. And now you're learning what your truth is and your truth is anchored in love, self-love, self-acceptance. For those of you guys who are in a relationship, you believe you're with your twin flame or you're married to your twin flame or you're in a relationship with your twin flame, then this just might be talking about how this person is here to help motivate you. You're on a spiritual journey with them and like they're here to reflect back to your you, your truth and things are gonna be changing for the better in this relationship. Like it'll have an impact on your significant other as well and help them too on their path forward. So wonderful, this is a beautiful message. I love these cards. I hope that this resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I will see you next time. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number three, let's go ahead and get your message from the angel deck. What do you need to know today? Wow, we're already getting a very, big, bold message. Huh. Okay, so to me this is a pretty simple message, but it's also a big one. 
So they're saying, look, you're going through a huge healing process right now. Like this, your healing is here and it's now. You've been praying for a long time to just see the light and for things to change and for you to feel better. And, and here it is, your opportunity. It might not, this opportunity for you and this healing might not have appeared in the way that you thought it would or that you wanted it to. But they're saying, look, believe. Believe that what you prayed for is here and it's here now. Okay, you've received a lot of clarity lately. This card is the willingness card, willingness to obey. And oh, that word obey makes me cringe. <laughs> but I actually think this is talking about like a self-obedience, like walking in alignment with your truth or trusting in the inner guidance that you're receiving or maybe telling you, you don't have to obey anybody but yourself. Sometimes we have parents or we, I mean, obviously if you're underage, you might need to, <laughs> to kind of listen to your parents. But I'm talking to those of you guys who are over 18. That's who these ratings are intended for. I'm talking to those of you guys who are finding your way in the world independent. Or maybe even those of you guys who are much older, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s who still in your heart feel like you need to impress other people or still feel like you have to impress your family or your parents or the people from your culture or society, maybe what you wanna do moving forward goes a little bit against that. Um, so I'm definitely seeing this message about, about trusting in yourself, trusting in your inner guidance and rem remembering that you only have to answer to yourself, that that's on you. So I guess I'll share you guys a story that reminds me of this from my own life. I think, you know, I was, I was raised in a very fundamental religious upbringing, to say the least. And I was raised to think that, you know, tarot or speaking out as a woman in particular, or having my own voice when it comes to healing and spirituality and being creative in this type of way would be like evil or the devil's work or would be, uh, you know, there's just a lot of misconceptions about this type of work. And there's been so many times that those old tapes come in my mind telling me that I'm bad or that I'm not doing something good or something like that. And I have to continuously remind myself that it's okay, I'm safe. I have to continue to take action on what my heart is telling me to do. And as I continue to take action on that, even though there's people out there who might disagree with it, even though there's that old programming that's telling me that it's not right or that I'm disobeying or something, um, I see blessings and rewards and uh, good signs and good messages every day and beautiful comments from you guys here. Um, every day on this path that I'm on, this path that I've chosen. So it makes me wonder, like, are you thinking about choosing a path? It could be something spiritual or maybe it's something, uh, it could be anything, honestly. Are you choosing a path? Are you choosing a mindset? Are you choosing a perception that feels very natural to you, but other people might disagree with? Do you feel like you have to hide yourself or hide your truth from people that you've been raised with by or who you are, are living around or just from society in general. Sometimes in order to be someone who's artistic or someone who's maybe on a different path or someone who questions things, it's, you know, we're very kind of forced in a lot of societies and cultures to be more like sheeple and to just follow the crowd. And if you're different, if you have your own perception, if you have your own way of looking at things, you can feel a little ostracized. So this is a message that's telling you, look, you're receiving reassurance because you have an extraordinary mind and imagination and energy. And like you have the right to be able to process and think whatever you need to think. Um, you start with the fresh slate. You start with the blank slate. This is telling you to clear all of the old programming, all of the old conditioning about who you are and what you're supposed to do in order to allow yourself to become who you really are. And this is a deep message, simple but deep. It's just a general believe in yourself message. You're healing from the past. You're healing from maybe the bullies or people that rejected you or abandoned you or people who put you down, told you you weren't good enough. You weren't gonna measure up. You're not gonna make the cut. You know, it's, it's so sad how many of us experience that type of uh, prejudice or, or bullying in our life. And 
the thing is, is like you're healing from that. You're realizing your pure love, your pure light. You can be who you want to be in this world. You can express yourself how you need to express yourself. You're free to just be. And you're having reassurance that you're extraordinary, that you matter, what you think matters, what you're going through matters, and that you, this part of you, your soul, your ability to think, your ability to be who you are, no one can ever take that from you. That's a side that no one can take from you. So you're gonna be starting with a fresh slate. You're clearing that all the way so you have the space to build upon, to explore and discover who you really are in a way you've never done before. So beautiful. I hope that this message resonates with you. Thank you again for your support and for coming to my channel and I'll see you next time. Peace out.